Alan, a 4-1 loss today. How frustrating is that, given it seems to be the same mistakes creeping in again? It is, um, I'm afraid, Jim. And that's the disappointing thing because, you know, we've we've obviously, you know, created our own downfall with the first goal. And we've managed to get ourselves back in and give ourselves a foothold. And then you're just starting to, you know, I feel come into the game a bit more, you know. And then, you know, you could go, you could go through every goal today. You know, there's no point me standing here and saying anything different. You know, it's it's as frustrating for for the players, for the staff, for the fans, as for anybody. You know, we are significantly contributing to our own downfall. Why do you think that keeps happening? Um, lapses in concentration. Um, a desire to, to win your individual battles and not be bullied. And I think on t at times today, there was, you know, they got bullied a little bit. You know, and, and that, that comes from within, you know. I'll take the the rap for for certain things, you know, but 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 some of the things players have to take responsibility, you know. When you're on that pitch, very rarely is the things that um, you know I can obviously make substitutions and change formations, you know. But but when you're on that pitch, you have to deal with the problems that you face in front of you, and um, and we didn't do that. Obviously, the, the defensive mistakes which cost us the goals, which ultimately cost us the game, are frustrating. But do you feel it was a more positive performance than maybe last week? Um, yeah, to a certain extent in terms of some of our play. Um, no, in the terms that I could probably be standing here and you could, I've seen, you could rewind this interview and, it, and we would be talking about the same thing for the last three or four weeks. You know, and, and we were, you're working on it in training ground. Um, you know, in terms of the shape, moving across the pitch where we are, where we are tactically, but it's not necessarily tactically why we're conceding goals. It's because of individuals uh, who need to take more responsibility and take ownership of of what their role is in the team. That's what it is, and you know, I don't. I'm not going to point the finger at individuals uh, or name names. You know, that stays in the dressing room, but but you know. It's there for everyone to see, you know, that we defensively we need to do much better. It doesn't help that we've got injuries, but listen, I'm not going to make excuses. It's not the time to make excuses. You know, we have to defend better. Yeah, um, one of the things last week we, we touched on was the fact that we weren't creating sort of enough chances. Um, do you feel today he did, obviously, we scored the goal, Matty Willock had a good chance, Hayden and Stephen both had chances in the first half as well? Yeah, well, listen, at half-time there was, you know, the game is, is slipping away from you. You know, four one down. You, you've got a, you've got a mountain to climb, um, and there was, you know, there was certain things said at half time, you know, and it needed to be said. You know, I asked them to go out there, you know, and put a forty five minutes on that. We could take some comfort from, if you can call it that, which doesn't seem right. Me, me saying that right now, um, but at least they, they did. This, you know, they limited. Hard to, to less chances, you know. Realistically, we probably had three real golden chances to, to score, which are not half chances; they're real good chances, you know. But um, but it wasn't to be. What do you take away from the game today? Well, in terms of obviously the most important thing, nothing. Um, in terms of their attitude, a little bit second half was better, but we well, it, it, it's too late, you know. We we've got to be doing this from. From, from from the way go, not after 45 minutes. Five minutes is, you know, before half time, you know, has really put this game to bed. You know, if we go in a 2 1 at half time, you've got something to, to build from. You know, before one, you know, I'm afraid you've got no chance.